Hello everyone, Andrew here and welcome to today's Game & Watch review where we are going to be looking at Boxing, the 42nd Game & Watch ever released by Nintendo and also it has a release date of July 30th, 1984. It's the first Micro Versus System Game & Watch we're going to be looking at this month and wow, does it look different than pretty much anything else we have looked at so far. Pretty much the only resemblance it really has to anything is Donkey Kong which we looked at recently uh, which has a latch here and if we do this, it opens up and we can actually find two controllers on the inside. Like, isn't this just so cool? Like, so what we have here is controllers, which uh, we can retract and we can pull the cords out a little bit. And what we want to do is pull them both a little, just like this, put the cords in both of these kind of divots here. And then we can bring the lid down and turning this around, we now have a game screen with two controllers. Now, what does this look like? Tell me this isn't just the Switch. Two detachable controllers, one main console screen, uh, you know, and then you can share these and play multiplayer. Like, isn't that just the most incredible thing? Why does it seem like all of Nintendo's modern ideas are just, you know, somehow inspired by Game & Watches. I think that's so, so cool. Gunpei Yokoi was just so ahead of his time. Oh man, I wish he was here to see, you know, the incredible things that Nintendo has done today. Now his ideas have evolved over the last 40 years. It's so cool. But yes, what we can do now is with our controllers, which can, you know, retract actually quite a distance, which is really cool is we can play boxing. Uh, game A is single player, where, where we will verse off against a computer, and game B will allow us to verse off against a friend who will use controller two. So obviously for the purposes of you know demonstration, I think that game A, single player, sounds pretty good. Now it's gonna be hard for me to show you exactly what I'm doing here, but you can move up and down, and you can press the button to punch. And what you wanna do is punch wherever their hand is not. And you can also press right to kind of do a, do a dodge. Uh, and as you see, as we punch them, their health is decreasing. And you want to eventually shove them off the screen. They can also push you back and push you off the screen. Uh, but you obviously you know, want to do it to them first. Get that health down. If we get them down to zero, we will get a knockout. But this is just, I think it's so neat. Uh, you know, this is, it's literally just the original Switch with two controllers that you can kind of detach from the console. And you, you know, you can share with a friend, play on this separate screen. Like, it's just so, so neat. And it would have been so easy for Nintendo to just make like 60 of these, you know, and no one probably would have batted an eye, but the fact that they kept innovating, kept creating different styles of Game & Watches, uh, it, it blows my mind. And yet I feel like it's just a part of Nintendo's history that they don't really talk about so much. It's not like Nintendo says, you know, look at the Nintendo DS, doesn't it remind you of Donkey Kong? Or look at the Switch, doesn't it remind you of the Micro Versus system? It's like... You know, unless you really go back and dig through Game & Watch history, you just don't near, you know, hear about it nearly as much as I think you should. One thing that used to be great for the Game & Watch, you know, spreading uh, awareness of it, was the Game & Watch Gallery series, which unfortunately just has been really absent, which is sad considering it would have been a perfect fit on the Nintendo DS. There were, of course, the Club Nintendo Reward games, uh, Game & Watch Collection 1 and 2 which had some Game & Watch games in it, but the DS was really an opportunity for Nintendo to make like a really grand collection of like all the multi-screen games or something like that and you know, sell it. Why did it have to be a Club Nintendo reward? And that would have just been so neat. But it's really great to see, I guess, Game & Watch getting some love again. And then thank you for watching these videos. I really hope you're enjoying learning about the Game & Watch. So like that, now that they're down to zero, we just have to knock them out one more time. That's kind of weird. Normally it's, uh, you know, you get them to zero and you knock them out and you win. But since they went down to zero, uh, after they were knocked out, I guess I have to push uh, push them back one more time. There's like an in-between rounds. I don't think it really does much though. So once I hit them one more time, we should win. If I can hit them one more time. And like that. We win. It's just so neat. And of course, it will continue on through various rounds. You'll face various opponents, some who have more health than others. Uh, but I also want to demonstrate, of course, mode B, where we can face off an opponent, and you can actually give your opponent a handicap by pressing the button on the uh, controller too. You can decide, you know, how much health they have. And yeah, you can just kind of go at it. So let's kind of zoom out here just a little bit. So yeah, that's a much better view of the console. We don't need to be so close into the screen now because I think everybody gets the point. And it's just like, you know, Joy-Cons. 
<laughs> like, that's, that's all I can see now when I play this. It's so neat. But yeah, we can press game B again to start. And as you can see, like, obviously, you know, you can move up and down and it's not going to do anything because it's, uh, you know, not versus the computer anymore. So we can just kind of face each other. And I just think that is so, so neat. Like, you could just have so much fun with your friends with this back in the day. Take it anywhere, just like you can, just, uh, like you can take the Switch anywhere, play it at school, play it on the bus with your friend, just like the Switch. And people think like, oh, the Switch is some crazy new idea. Well, it's so funny to think that, you know, they had it like 40 years ago. Um, but, you know, Nintendo doesn't brag about it as much as they should. So when you're done, you can open all this back up. Open up the lid here. And it says that you should retract the controllers down to the red line. Now, the red line's pretty faded. Don't know if you can see it. But, yeah, we can, you know, do a thing like this. And the cord will go back in nicely. I just want to get it, to, there we go, pretty much all the way. And... Set it in maybe a little bit more. And there we go. I should also mention that boxing is actually featured on Game & Watch Gallery 4, where in Game A, you once again get to face off against a whole bunch of different opponents. And I think in the modern mode, you play as Luigi and you get to face off against like Wiggler and a whole bunch of different uh, Mario enemies, which is really neat. And then Game B, if you have a link cable, you can link up with a friend and actually play multiplayer. Uh, so that is really cool. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you, know, you are enjoying this just as much as I am. Game & Watches do not nearly get as much love uh, as they should it should so just looking through them all and having the chance to play them all while making these videos i'm having a blast too so if you're having a blast uh, i really appreciate that and during this game uh game and watch review month i do own all three of the micro versus system games so if you thought this one was cool there's still two more of them to go but with that said thanks for watching and i hope you'll join me tomorrow for another game and watch so thanks and hope to see you then